Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to open up HP ProBook 640 and upgrade my RAM. Hopefully, this video can help someone else who wants to DIY. Now, let's proceed to the video. So this is my HP ProBook 640. First things first, of course, we will remove all the screws that's holding the back panel for us to see what's going on inside this laptop. If your computer exhibits delayed responses or crashes, definitely it needs more RAM. RAM is the type of memory the computer uses to run programs, open files, and process changes to those files. One reason why our laptop or PC freeze and then crash is because of uh, there isn't enough memory to execute the task. Even cheap laptops can benefit having more RAM, especially true if you have a 64-bit system. So why not give your machine an upgrade, right? So for me, I want my old machine to work more efficient, that's why I'm adding extra RAM on it. Even if I open multiple programs at once, this machine can work for me with no problem. Also in browsing, more RAM means fast browsing. Take note guys, adding RAM will not speed up your computer. It will just make your computer run smoothly. I think I've taken all the screws out, but why I can't remove this back panel? What is the problem? Oh, there's one more screw in there. It is cancelled by that warranty sticker. One screw is hidden, so we need first to peel off the sticker. It's warranty sticker, I guess, for us to remove the remaining screw. Once the screws were out, you can easily pop up the cover by inserting an old credit card or even your fingernails will do. I'll show you how using my fingernails, insert it and once you have the gap, lift it up, that's all. There we go, that's uh, what inside the back panel, two slots of memory in there. So one slot is empty, so that's where I gonna put the other one. And beside the RAM slots with white sticker on it is the 240GB SSD hard disk. Here's the new 8GB RAM that we're gonna insert in there. Installing the new RAM is easy. Just insert it in the empty slot and uh, push down. Once you hear the click, it's done. It's all set. I'm just double checking if the memory stick sits in properly on that uh, clips on both sides. Oh. This is very important. I almost forget to show you how to remove the memory stick. It's easy to do. Just push outward means at opposite directions with your two fingers. The tip of the two clips and the memory stick will just pop up. And again, just push it down to lock it in place. So now I got a 2 by 8 GB memory stick. So a total of uh, 16 GB. That's pretty good now. And there is the Wi-Fi card. Now the next thing to do is place back the cover and uh, tighten the screws. Just finger tight. This laptop has Intel Core i5 processor with 16 gig of RAM now. So it will run really really nice though it's old. There we go, screws were back in. I will boot up the laptop now to show the specs after our RAM upgrade. Just right click at this PC and properties. So there's our 16 gig of RAM, but I think uh, it will still support more than 16 gig. Well, uh, I'm not sure about that or maybe 32 gig 
I don't know, but maybe if you try, just let me know so that I will uh, upgrade again next time. I hope this video was helpful, so if you like the video, press the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Stay safe everyone, thank you for watching, and bye bye.